Oh, that was a miss hit. Could you use some more forgiveness with your irons? That one was hit really well. Can you use a little extra distance? That was that crushed. That was crushed. Yeah, that was hit really well. So we got Definitely another got competitor popular. with regards to distance. Is your swing speed considered more moderate? If you answered yes to all three questions there, stay tuned for this video as we explain the differences between certain game improvement irons. Today we have Jackie joining us. She's going to be helping us compare five different game improvement models. Jackie, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited to test these models uh, as a lot of players have a similar swing speed to me. So it'll be exciting to, to see the results here. Yeah, so for today, I mentioned we have five different models. We have the Cobra Rad Speed. We have the Ping G425. We have the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max. We have the Mizuno JPX 921 Hot Metal, and we have the Callaway DCB models. So all these models are either new in 2021 or were released later in the, the summer or fall of 2020. So every golfer needs some forgiveness. For today's test, this is going to be game improvement models for those golfers that need a little extra help with their golf game. So Jackie, first up we've got the Mizuno JPX 921 Hot Metal. That club's got 29 degrees of loft on the 7 iron. We'll be testing all 7 irons here today. I'm excited to see you hit some shots as we test all the different models. So let's get started. Alright, let's go. Look at that start. Very nice. Yeah, that was a good start. That one was hit really well. Yeah, that yeah. was good. I mean, highest carry yep. distance. So, Jackie, what distance do you normally play your 7 iron? Anywhere from 130 to 135. And is that total distance? Yeah. That's total distance. Okay, so I want to bring that up because you mentioned that you felt like you left the face a little open on one of those swings. Yep. Well, I think that was shot 2 or shot 3. So it's kind of interesting. We'll notice we lost a little bit of carry distance on, on that one. Yeah. But what's kind of interesting is the consistency. You'll notice the consistency was still going further. It was still flying very, very high, which is what we need out of a game improvement iron. So you normally hit about 135 total distance. We'll notice the loft is a little bit stronger with these irons. Yeah. We'll notice that you were hitting a total distance of 147. Pretty Even good. the miss hits worked out pretty well in your, in your favor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it... It felt good. I mean, it sounded good. So that's the first thing I noticed right away is just the the sound uh, definitely is good. <laughs> uh, and then the I mean, honestly, visually, the the top line is is appealing. Um, you can notice a little bit of offset, but overall, like out of all the game improvement irons that I've you know tested, like this one definitely uh, it looks good at address. Yeah, and you cracked 100 miles an hour ball speed on that fifth shot there. That sound, you know, that sound when you when you smoked that one there, it was really, really impressive. So yeah. it's 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 got a good sound to it. It's a good feeling golf club. Um, perfect for those golfers that need a little extra distance, but also a little forgiveness. Let's switch over to the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max irons. The loft on these irons are going to be very, very similar to the Mizuno JPX 921. Hot metal, uh, so 28 and a half versus 29. So I'm gonna expect distances to be pretty similar. Okay, Jackie, I just wanna first talk about that one that you crushed. Yeah. Check out the distance that you hit that one there too. 149 going 162. That one sounded so solid off the face. Yeah, definitely. Just, I mean, immediately I knew I crushed it just from the feel of it, so I definitely got a hold of it. And it felt like I, obviously I picked up a little bit of ball speed as well, but I could definitely tell that the numbers were going to be higher just off the feel of the club. Yeah, 105 is the highest ball speed that we have picked up today. That will be a good benchmark to see if any of these other clubs get us there or not. So if distance is what you're after, Sim 2 Max for sure can give you plenty of distance. I did notice, however, if you look at the dispersion pattern, 
you know, just a little bit, you left a couple to the right. Yes, you had a couple of good shots in there. Now, a lot of that, yes, that's user error. So there's a reason why players will be playing these particular irons, because they're mm -hmm. not going to hit it perfect every single time. We just kind of noticed there that your good shots went really far. The miss hits were just a kind of a little bit shorter around about the same distance as what the Mizuno JPX 920 or hot metal was going. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was missing it. It just felt like I was missing it a little bit right. I mean, and again, that could be a little bit of user error. Um, it definitely feels a little different from uh, the hot metal, just in, in weight. And I know there's, we have a different shaft in here, but overall, um, took me a little bit to get used to. The last two shots were definitely better out of this. Yeah, and then for today's test with the irons with golf shafts, we're testing all regular graphite golf shafts. The unfortunate thing is with, um, with irons with, when it comes to graphite is we don't have a whole bunch. We don't have the exact same golf mm -hmm. shaft and graphite to test in every single manufacturer. So we're kind of using their, their stock golf shafts. Right. So when you were hitting the first one, it was like that, that recoil. We didn't have anything lighter in Mizuno there to, to use. So that's why that shaft was just a little bit heavier. But they're right. all regular graphite stock shafts is what we're testing with. All right. uh, one thing I thought was really interesting before we test the next iron was I mentioned that the loft is half a degree stronger with the Sim 2 Max. So I'm looking at your dynamic loft. So notice Mizuno hot metal of 25.2 and, the, and then the Sim 2 Max at 25.4. Basically did exactly what I would expect. You would notice about almost half a degree less dynamic loft at impact, and then you carried the ball about four yards further. Every degree of loft can be about three or four yards of extra distance there too. So that's part of the reason why the Sim 2 Max just went just a little bit further. You definitely notice on that one that you that you crushed there too. That was that was a really nice swing. Yeah. Okay, so on to the next iron. Let's do the Callaway Apex DCB. A little low on the face, but yeah. Yeah, so that's that's interesting. Let's just touch on that last shot that you hit there. Said just a little bit low on the face. Yeah. So that's one, that one right there. So you'll notice, yes, still nice and straight. You still got away with it, which is definitely kind of important there to note. So that one clearly was a little bit of a miss hit. But right now we've kind of got a, we could, I guess we could say we have a dispersion king right now of the three that we've hit. We've still got other models to test there too. But those first four shots you hit were very, very good. Nice and straight, nice and consistent. That one there you just got a little bit, little bit low, on, low on the face there as well. Uh, you'll notice the ball speed dropped by about a mile less than your average uh, ball speed, which was about just under 98 miles an hour. How did that one feel? Yeah, it felt good. Um, I really liked, like, even with the miss hit, like, it still felt good. It just, I knew I hit it low on the face. Um, but overall, it, like, you can definitely tell the forgiveness in the club. So... Uh, and yeah, I mean, the results show right there. I mean, they're pretty straight, so happy with that. Uh, overall, yeah, it feels good and felt good. Yeah, I, I'm glad you said that because it is considered more of a premium game improvement iron. So the Apex DCB, it's forged. So I don't know if you can notice the difference in feel versus the other two, but with it being forged, it should feel just a little bit softer off the face. You're going to pay a little bit more for that premium feel. Um, but the difference is, yes, a little bit more forged. And also the loft is a little bit higher with this 7 iron too. So that's important to bring 30 degrees of loft on this 7 iron while the other two so far we've hit were a little bit less. But what stands out to me is your carry distance kind of kept up with regards to yeah. uh, distance, even though it had a little bit more, more loft on, on it as well. Even with that last miss hit, that did fly a little bit lower. It was 59 feet in the air. You would notice that the height was the highest overall there too, which stands out because carry distance is really important with an iron, and that's the DCB, the deep cavity back, really helping out. Yeah, I definitely felt the difference in the club head itself. It, it felt better, and it was definitely softer, so it makes sense that it's forged. All right, so let's move on to a couple others. Let's uh, stick in that 30-degree category with the Ping G425 iron. That, was, that crushed. was crushed. Yeah, that was hit really well. Yeah, that was off to the right. 
little bit. So I know you weren't too happy on that shot. You're like, nah, I didn't feel as good as the last one. Yeah. But notice how it's still kind of up there with regards to kind of distance there as yep. well. And we know this club's got 30 degrees of loft. It's got the highest amount of loft of all the irons mm -hmm. uh, tied with the DCB, but we notice it still went a little further. So it's hard. There you go. Okay, so four irons in, Ping G425 iron. What'd you think of that iron? Yeah, I like the look of it. It's got a pretty clean top line. Um, obviously, the first one I hit, I, I crushed again, kind of like the Sim 2 Max that I crushed, so that felt good. Um, you know, I, I had a couple miss hits there, but it still I still was able to get results, so that was good to see. But uh, overall, it, it feels good, uh, and it's I, I like the look of it at a dress, probably uh, very similar to like the hot metal that I hit first. So um, the top line is definitely appealing. Yeah, the one thing that stood out to me, yeah, you hit that one that you hit really well, but then you miss it. So notice how close together these all these blue dots are. There's actually one on top of each other there, there too. So. You miss it, a little bit shorter. The one you obviously you crushed was was very, very good there as well. So got away with the miss hits, a little bit more forgiving, I would say. And the one thing that stood out to me too is I, I talk about loft on, on seven irons, is mentioned 30 degrees of loft. So 30 degrees of loft, but still on your good shot, you're able to get it to go a decent distance. That shot there, you know, carried 148 going 159. Mm -hmm. The other competitor with regards to distance was the Sim 2 Max. The Sim 2 Max is one and a half degrees stronger at 28 and a half degrees. So even though it had one and a half degrees more loft on it, it still carried the same distance as the Sim 2 Max or two. So just technology is just trying to find a different way to get a little extra distance. And yeah, the G425 face is definitely hot. Yeah, I can feel that right away. <laughs> okay, so finally, so speaking of hot faces, so finally is our strongest lofted irons. So this is the Cobra Rad Speed. I know you said you're excited to hit the Cobra irons. Yeah. This iron's got 27 and a half degrees of loft on it. So it's fairly strong, but it's definitely for those players that maybe don't compress the ball perfectly to try and get them more in that optimal seven iron window. All right. So let's so test that. I'm excited. A little bit of a miss hit actually on that. Yeah, that's, that's interesting that you said that was a little bit of a miss hit. Still check out the ball speed. Yeah. Ball speed was still over 100 miles, 102 miles an hour, and that was a miss hit. That sounded like had a lot of pop to it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we got Definitely another got competitor pop. with regards to distance. So that one's kind of up there again. So that was that was nice. Your miss hit was a little further there as well. Okay. So Cobra Rad Speed. How did uh, that one feel? Well, definitely had a pop to it. Um, felt different than all the other four clubs that I hit, for sure. Uh, you could definitely feel that it was hot off the face. And just the look to it is so much different. Like, even the top line's got a little bit of a design on the top that I, it's kind of different than any other club. So right away, I knew that difference. Uh, but I mean, it looks cool. Yeah, so let's talk about that design on the top of the, the on the top line there. So that essentially is to help with weight distribution. So instead of having the weight up in that area, they're able to redistribute the weight into a different area to help with the CG and get that ball to kind of go up in the air and carry a little bit further. And carry further it did. Yeah. So you said it was hot. It was definitely hot. So if you look at the dispersion pattern here, you had a couple of really good shots with the Sim 2 Max and then also with the G425. Then you had, you know, all the one, other ones were just a little bit shorter. But if we look at the rad speed, the orange circle, you had four up there that were carrying significantly further. And then you also had one miss hit in there too. So speaking on that miss hit, that miss hit still had a ball speed of 102.4. So it was still carried 141 going 153. These other ones were all pushing 150 yards with regards to carry distance and going close to 160 yards total distance there too. So it was hot. It definitely was hot. Um, very, very interesting. 159.6 was the total distance with that, with the Cobra Rad Speed. 
Yeah, and I definitely, I mean, one of the things that kind of stands out to me too is spin rate on this one. Um, obviously, lower the loft, you know, in, you're going to have less spin. So that I kind of noticed too, just by, I mean, just by feel and hitting, I definitely was hitting a little bit lower. Yeah, well, and it's interesting you say lower spin, but if we look at the height, yeah. it actually wasn't the lowest height. Even low, 27 and a half degrees of loft, you expect maybe a little bit less mm -hmm. height because there's left loft on the club. And that's the CG allocation moving around to help get the ball up in the air. So even though these irons are considered, I guess, a little bit more loft jack per se, because they're stronger lofted, they have had their CG position in different spots. Because if you were just going to loft jack a blade, it's still going to be the same kind of CG, the kind of location on that. It's just not going to go as high. Right. These are positioned more, I guess, more kind of like a, a hybrid with the little larger soles and the way that where the weight is on the irons. Uh, it's going to cause the ball to still fly in the air. And that still, even though it's gone further, it still was flying higher up in the air, which is important. So it's still going to give you stopping power. You, I know you were concerned with spin a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's just touch on spin a little bit with, with the irons here and just kind of see if there's anything that kind of stands out here. We've got a range from 5,066 to 5522. It's kind of interesting that the rad speed, yes, it's got the lowest amount of loft, has the least amount of spin on it. But then you look at the Ping G425, that actually has the highest amount of loft on it, but it's not the highest amount of spin. So yes, there's some trends overall there, um, but it's definitely kind of interesting that that face with the G425 was hot, but spin rate was still down a little bit with that too. But the important thing to note is if you order the height there too, from high to low, you'll notice that the two that were going the furthest, the two that were the hottest on, on the face, they were flying the highest. So we'll notice 73 feet in the air and 69 feet in the air. So that definitely kind of stands out to me. But it's not always about distance. When you got an iron, you want your dispersion pattern to be nice and tight. So if you're going to look at these circles up here on the screen, which circle would you say that you like the best? Purple. Yeah, purple stands out. And I'm looking at, you know, we know that we talked about this one being a miss hit here earlier. This is that shorter one. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at these other four shots here that were all pretty nice and close there together. So that definitely kind of stands out to me. Pretty close to the middle, nice and close together. That definitely stands out. One thing that also does stand out to me is the Cobra Rad speed. So if we're looking from left to right, notice how, yes, it was flying far. The ones you hit solid, notice how they're pretty close to the same carry distance every single time. So that also is important because you don't want to get a flyer that flies over the green long left or anything like that. Right. You look at the Sim 2 Max and notice how from left to right, notice how we've got quite a, quite a range right there. That would kind of worry me a little bit with regards to dispersion pattern there too. But yes, circles are very, very important. Dispersion is very, very important. Imagine there's a, a green that you're trying to hit, hit onto. You probably would guess that you're probably going to hit the green more likely with the Apex DCB, that purple circle. Uh, so that's definitely kind of important there as well. So, and finally, I want to touch on landing angle. So landing angle is very important to be able to stop the ball on the green. When you have a club speed that is 70 to 80 miles an hour, so it's definitely not considered super fast. A lot of golfers are going to relate to this video with regards to your club speed here too. The landing angle of 40 to 46 degrees is considered a very, very high stopping power. So we'll notice that your range from 40 to 43 degrees with each of these models is giving you plenty of stopping power based on your club speed. So that's definitely important to pay attention to. Mid stopping power would be considered 34 to 40 degrees. So notice we've still got plenty of stopping power, even though they're going further, even though these lofts are a little bit stronger, we're still generating decent stopping power considering that your club speed is a little bit on the slower side, which is important to note because a lot of people worry about stopping power now that they've got these strong lofted clubs. It's still going to give you plenty of stopping power. Yeah, I definitely think that, you know, all of them, you know, obviously with the landing angle is they're all in a good place. So, uh, yeah, I, I really, the a Apex DCB definitely felt probably the best. Uh, with that forged face, you can definitely feel it be softer and um, very similar in feel to what I currently have. So that I noticed that right away. Um, but you know, yeah, they all have plenty of forgiveness, and even on my miss hits, I wasn't getting punished for them. So you can definitely tell that that was something that, you know, that's why a lot of golfers, 
you know, should be in something that's a little bit more forgiving just because of that. Yeah, so this is a great comparison comparing kind of five of the last game improvement models to be released. We've got one from 2020, that was the Mizuno JPX 921 Hot Metal. We've got four that have been released very, very recently, and we wanted to compare them. I'm going to get a slower swing speed golfer to compare them as opposed to myself with higher swing speed. It probably makes sense because a lot of the golfers relate to your swing, swing speed. So Jackie, thanks so much for helping compare these different models. I think this is a great test. I think a lot of golfers are going to learn a lot from this video. We do also accept trades. So keep in mind if you do have some old lines or irons laying around, if you're ready to replace your current irons, that will be a great opportunity for you to help offset the price on your new irons. So come into Second Swing today to get fit for your new game improvement irons.